a few years back, it might have been two or three at this point, which is kind of surprising, I made a video covering the process of sound modding JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Heritage for the Future, though technically this process applies to any CPS3 game, whether it be Red Earth, JoJo's Venture, or the Street Fighter 3 series, New Generation, Second Impact, Third Strike. Um, but I didn't explain myself all too well. There are a lot of things I didn't really cover, and in my haste to get it out and, well, ex try to explain things, I left a lot out. So hopefully, after many, many years, I can do a much better job of explaining the process, and, uh, well, there's one new thing that has generally helped in uh, the soundbotting process that would be good to discuss. It's nothing too dramatic, um, the process is still identical, but this does aid it a bit. Uh, in any case, there are, I would say, uh, three necessary tools to sound mod properly. Um, I mean, you technically don't need the third one, or the second one for that matter. Uh, you can technically just use one of them, but the other two make the process a lot easier, a lot less tedious, and should generally give you a better result. Um, they are as follows. This right here, the Stardust Sound Patcher. This is the tool you'll be using to actually make the sound modifications. It injects, or it allows you to pick an audio file and inject it directly into the game files so that it plays that audio file in place of whatever you want it to be over. I would download the most recent version here, the Stardust Sound Patcher, and extract it somewhere. It's a zip. Uh, you probably have WinRAR, 7-Zip, any other kind of means of extraction. Just extract it somewhere. And the second thing is the timestamps. This lists every single, uh, just about every single character voice line uh, in the game on where you can find them and their relative frequency. Because the audio files in this game have differing frequencies. Uh, usually, the further you go along, the lower the frequency is. The highest quality are the instruments, which are at the very beginning of the uh, file. 30 file, to be specific. They're not in the 31. Then sound effects, which are slightly higher quality. And then voice lines, which are, as you can see, around here. Uh, the This is generally organized by um, character order in terms of their index numbers, which you don't really have to worry about, but essentially you would look until you find whatever character you want to change the audio of. So for this particular uh, instance, I thought it would be good to do Vanilla Ice. In particular, his Stand On Taunt, as you can see here. Uh, I'll put links to both of these files in the description of this video, but if you're in the uh, Discord server, the main Discord server for Heritage for the Future, you can also find it inside the ROM hacking channel, right down here. If you go to your pinned messages in this channel, and scroll down just a bit, you'll find it here. Heritage timestamps, and if you sc uh, scroll a bit further down, you'll eventually come across the Stardust Sound Patcher, or a download link. Uh, though it's recommended you download the one from GitHub, I, since this is the initial release and they fixed it shortly after, to resolve some bugs uh, immediately afterwards. So it's recommended you download this one. And finally, uh, the third thing that I would recommend you use is Audacity. Uh, this is mainly just, well, it's mainly for editing files, uh, audio files, but you can also use it if you want to find something, per se. Say uh, whatever sound effect, whatever instrument, whatever voice line you want, is not on this document. Audacity makes it a little bit easier, arguably, to find. It's still not a great process, but um, it's still very tedious, but arguably Audacity could make it a bit more manageable. If you want to do that, actually, I will go ahead and explain that. If you want to do that, just open up Audacity. Go to File, Import, Raw Data, Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot to explain this. Um, you're going to want to make sure you extract uh, Heritage to a particular folder somewhere. 
Anyway, really. Uh, so extract the game's files 10, 20, 30, 31, 40, 41, 50, 51. Technically, all you need is 30 and 31. Uh, I was just too lazy to delete the other files. So you would click File 30, or if your thing is in File 31, File 31. Just note instruments and sound effects are File 30. The voice lines for the later characters are in 31. So, like, uh, Young Joseph, I believe Shadow Dio's in there? Don't quote me on that, however. I forget the order that the characters go in uh, at around that point, but nevertheless, 31 is for the later characters, and some there might be some other miscellaneous stuff, uh, but the majority of things will be in the 30 file. Anyway, you would open up the 30 file, and you would choose the frequency to check, essentially, your sampling rate. Uh, if you're looking for voice lines, it's 5843. As you can see right up here, I don't remember the exact frequency for um, instruments. I believe it's 1600 and then 800 for sound effects. Let me check. Or 16,000, not 1600. Sorry, instruments, 16,000, I believe 8,000 for uh, sound effects. Though, it must be noted that Audacity is kinda weird uh, when it comes to frequency relative to the start of Sound Patcher, and why I'll explain a bit later on. Uh, but in any case, your general process for figuring out where uh, stuff would be would just be to listen to the audio file until you find what you're looking for and try to narrow down the particular area. Um, Audacity may be set to start and end of selection. Usually start and length of selection will help you more so when you're using the sound patcher itself. Uh, in any case, that's enough uh, regarding the process of finding your audio. Um, it's not too difficult a process. If you try uh, one of those three given frequen those, those three given frequencies, 16,000, 8,000, and 5843, should cover most of what you're looking for. Um, though if you do need to adjust, uh, you can alter the playback speed, and I guess through some mathematical trickery, if you want to call it that, you could figure out the proper frequency, at least in Audacity. Um, anyhow, let's get to actually putting a sound into the game. So for this particular example, I'll be using a Donkey Kong voice. Uh, right. So we can close this. I'll be using this Donkey Kong voice since it is the longest one. And Vanilla Ice's audio, if you remember the particular one that I wanted to change, uh, where am I? Okay. God, sorry. There we go. It's five seconds, or five, yeah, it's 5.390 seconds. Five seconds, 390 milliseconds. Um, what you'll notice is that this is nowhere near five seconds and 390 milliseconds. Strangely enough, from my experience, when you, uh, your frequency, like, or no, let me rephrase that. The audio duration in Audacity, my particular Audacity at the very least, correlates to double the length in the Stardust sound patch. So technically this would be around like 5 seconds, uh, a little more so. Arguably around that point that I was mentioning before, 5.2 uh, seconds. So because I suck at, uh, I can't do the math immediately in my head, 5,390, or I'm too lazy to do it more so, you would just do 5,390 divided by 2. And you get 2,695. So, if you select that much area, change it to, per se, 2,695, you can control C, to select that particular area, control A to select everything, delete, 
Or... What? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what happened? Well, I guess... Yeah. Okay. I'm stupid. You can X out. I don't know why delete wasn't working there. I apologize. <laughs> you can just, uh... X out of that. You can do Control V to paste in your audio file. <laughs> and then you'll have the audio. But you'll see down here our project rate is 44,100. And if you recall, our actual frequency is 5843. So if you have this still selected, you can double click the project rate and change it to 5843. I would hit enter. <laughs> And now you'll hear the audio is uh, substantially lower quality um, as a result of altering the frequency. I mean, what is it? Are you, you may not you don't necessarily need to do this. You could just inject it in at forty four thousand one hundred. Um, if I, it's been a while since I've checked, but I think this makes it slightly better quality. But that's debatable. It may be that the difference is so marginal in most cases that it hardly does anything. Regardless, uh, this is pretty much the sound. This is the audio we have, need, will be using. So you go to File, Export. You'll need to export it as a uh, WAV, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, simply due to the fact that if you go with MP3, I'll just title this DK Voice for the sake of this particular example. It requires you to select a sampling rate of 8,000 or higher. Uh, Wave does not require that, or WAV, however you refer to it. So you're good there. Uh, the next thing you can do is... What is it? Let me put this up. Open up your... Uh, the next thing you'll be doing is opening up the Stardust Sound Patcher. Uh, the actual tool for injecting the sound. But first, I would recommend making a copy of the 30 file, just a clean backup in case something goes wrong. Then I would open this up. Uh, it's going to ask you to open up your extracted Jadobin folder, so I have that right here. And I apologize that this is so small, but uh, if you can't fully see I'll go ahead and uh, brief you as I scroll down here. So you have uh, your file 30, your file 31. Uh, we'll be working in file 30 right now, so that's good to just... But you can switch between the two as necessary. Um, you have your start time and your length in terms of minutes, seconds, milliseconds, your sampling rate. I'd recommend you alter your sampling rate first and foremost. And then the amount you amplify your imported audio by. If your audio is too quiet in-game, this is how you would alter that. Or if it's too loud, again, this is also how you would alter it. Right now it's set to 0.5, so it would uh, pretty much half the volume. Anyway, I'd recommend you alter the frequency immediately, 5843. Because if you do it afterwards, it messes up. Uh, if you input your start time and length and then alter the frequency, it will alter your start time and length in an attempt to accommodate that which messes it up, because the start time and length for these given timestamps correlate to the particular frequency that they were found at. Uh, in any case, the start time for this is 22 minutes, 44 seconds in, and 200 milliseconds in, with a duration of 5 seconds and 390 milliseconds. If you play it, uh, you should be able to hear the audio effect. I don't know how quiet it is. I apologize if it's too quiet for you to hear. Uh, in any case, once you have that stuff in, actually, I'm going to alter the imported audio just for this particular example. Set it to about 1.5. I already went ahead and tested the volume. It was a little quiet, so 1.5 should be decent. Anyway, you want to load in your sound file. You'll go to whichever folder you have the file in change it to WAV uh, instead of MP3, otherwise you won't be able to find your file. Open your file, and then play. <laughs> and pretty much from there, uh, so long as everything's good, 
uh, your audio shouldn't be cut off. Um, that's what you would check the length for just to make sure that everything's good. Your frequency is altered. Uh, it's at the right identical frequency. So the program won't be doing the um, compression itself, which I don't know how it handles the process, but Audacity may do it differently. Um, I don't know the specifics, to be honest. I haven't checked. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to check and see uh, the differences. It may not even matter. Um, either way, it's a potential option if you want to do it. So then all you have to do from there, uh, once you've imported your sound file, is just patch the changes. And now, you put it into your uh, ROM, actually. And that's pretty much it. We'll go to Fightcade. I'll just open up a ROM. I'd recommend you make a backup ROM, or a clean backup ROM, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, it shouldn't, so long, uh, assuming you did everything correctly, so you would open your folder, and you would drag in uh, whichever file you edited, or both, if you edited both of them. You would open up, uh, say, FBA or FBNEO, depending on what you altered. Uh, just for note, the sake of note, if you are attempting to put this into your uh, Fight K2 or Final Burn Neo, they use uh, what's known as a split ROM, which, if I can pull up uh, quickly, you'll notice it's a bit different uh, in terms of the file contents. Technically, all the data is the same, it's just structured differently. And the Stardust pound, uh, Sound Patcher was not designed to accommodate for the split ROM. You have to make it a combined ROM, uh, which is this. There is a uh, ROM conversion tool uh, that will do this for you. Right here, I made it, uh, because I'm... so you're welcome, but um, you'll need Java Runtime Environment to use it, just keep that in mind. Um, it should be relatively straightforward how to handle. Just have a extract your ROM to a particular folder, choose an output folder, select the game, and then it'll be fine. And you can convert back and forth from split to combined and from combined to split. So in this particular instance, if you wanted to edit, say, like you, say you have a, uh, Fight K2 ROM with PAL mods on it or something that you wanted to convert. You would convert it to a combined ROM, you would edit the 30 file of that converted combined ROM, and then convert it back into a split ROM for Fight K2 to use. But enough uh, tangential discussion. Uh, let's actually try out the ROM. So you'll get this error that says uh, graphics ROM 30 uh, has an CRC of E86. 3F 8B3. Yours will probably not be the same as mine. It's all but guaranteed to not be the same as mine. Um, don't worry about it, because if it says it's invalid or an incorrect CRC, that means that you altered the file, which is what you want to have done. If this doesn't pop up, that means you didn't change anything, or you didn't put the correct, like, you didn't put the file into the zip folder or what have you, you messed up something, is the point I'm trying to convey here. So we'll boot up the ROM. And we'll uh, test it out to make sure it works. The audio quality isn't great, um, unfortunately. Uh, depending on what you're altering, it may sound a bit better. Sound effects uh, usually sound a bit less compressed or less crushed. They'll usually sound a bit better. Um, and there may be other methods, uh, to making sure it doesn't sound so awful. Uh, but for a basic standpoint, this is how you do it. So, um, hopefully this explained things a bit better than I did in the previous tutorial. Um, again, uh, let me know if you have any questions. The links to everything will be in the video description so long as I do my job properly and I don't slack off. Thank you.